Hey guys, it's Brooke Herbert Harris and welcome back to my FIFA 17 Liverpool Kramar where last time I left off I picked up a huge win in, in, over Arsenal but to emphasize my dominance in the Premier League nice and early I also picked up a win over or, um Right. No wait, that was the game. That was uh, the episode before. Um. Well, Arsenal was the main game. Wh whoever the other game was, they were obviously not important enough to remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that you're. <laughs> No, I was just thinking maybe it was, uh, but no, this is the uh, third game, not the fourth. Uh, yes, it is against AC Milan. Oh, 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 the memories. Good and bad. bad. We've had them both against, against these, these fuckers. This is the Liverpool side. Of course, uh, very familiar in it. In the AC Milan lineup, if you've uh, been following my career modes over the past couple full FIFAs, almost a good start there from Milan. There's uh, Mattia De Skiglia. I just cannot believe that he's fluffed his lines like that. It's a return to Milan for Calabria, because, of course, this is the team he came from. Him from. It's uh, Lopez who's in goal, no uh, Donnarama today for uh, Milan. I don't know where he is. Oh, Ragnar Klavin! Of all the people to open the scoring, it's Ragnar Klavin. As you can see, he's been given the captain's armband for this game, and Thiago Elori's been given a rest. What a a moment for Ragnar Klavin. Is that his first goal for the club? That might be his... No, it, no he scored last season, didn't he? Kuchka. I can't remember him. I... It goes out wide again. I'm going to say he did, and that's not it. That's, this is his first goal of the season. I think this might actually be his first appearance of the season. Officially. Like... Of course, I don't count uh, preseason, which he did make an appearance in, and he may have made a few. Uh, ooh, I can't remember off the top of my head. Saw it coming, cut it out. Good work. Uh, an unlikely he scored for the first goal. Fusa Mensa should have made it too. Ooh, how does he? He slices that really badly. It's into the ground. Kisuke Honda. Honda. Good, strong tackle. Oh, Rico Henry deals with Honda very he well. Sosa. He's got support here. Well, Rico Henry doesn't care what kind of car you drive. <laughs> Calabria. Calabria. Davide Calabria. Excellent pass. Rigi. Zapata. Oh, come on, man. Zapata ends up getting the ball away for, uh, Milan. For, uh, I can't get away. Yeah, an opportunity. Kuchka. It's Baka. Crisp defending there. Shio Shio. Oh. For a goal kick. Moya! 
Oh, the tackle from Abate right at the last second did enough to make the shot not as impactful as it probably should have been. It might have been 2 0 if not for that in the section. That will be Liverpool's throw in. And we're at the end from the uh, Italian. That. Or it'll just go right past the defender. No, Origi will win the corner. No, Zapata. Here comes the cross. It's in. Oh, whipped in, but not converted on goal. Oh, oh, but the deflection and does mean it's another corner. Oh, I thought for a second there it was landing to actually it was landing towards Ragnarok 11, but it was cleared away. He, he by pacing line player for the uh, throw. Divo Karigi! He! He! Oh! Moya, he didn't connect with it. He missed the header. If he connects with the header, it's 2 0. He tries to chest it. And after the fact, but uh, by then the uh, Milan had time to uh, make sure that they did not go too nil down. They might still go to nil down. Moya makes up for his uh, or miss with that. Oh, uh, fell with the header, uh, and it's two nil. Is a good performance this they've got a goal to show for it they're really giving themselves a chance in this game against a position where they wouldn't be get in to win the game. that's his second goal in this competition of course he came on to score against Celtic in the last game speaking of Celtic they are one nothing down to Galatasaray if that Scoreline stays the same. Galatasaray go into second place, albeit they'll only be on four points. <laughs> Meaning I will only need to. I don't. I don't is it? It might be. I don't. I don't know who my next uh, game is. I just know I will definitely be through qualified, guaranteed qualification if uh, I win. My next game, game because after four games, it'll be a four wins here, guaranteed qualification. Here's Honda. And uh, if it's against, yeah, if if, it, if it's against, he's got us right, which I mean, long shot, but it might be. I have to play him again eventually, he, and I will go into that with three wins because Debo Karigi has made it 3 0. Oh, and Madeline will have to reverse 2005 us if they are to get back into this. And they do not have a full half to score their three goals. We'll they have 35 minutes or so. Watching. Dude. Who's such a feat? Not 45. Coming up for you on Here you can see my next game is the Merseyside Derby against Everton. For Liverpool, they'll be hosting Everton. Yeah, it's got a good feel about it, that one. Look forward to joining you in the gantry for it. We've reached the hour mark. Half an hour to go. Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. And it's got away from him. Come on, win the header. Yeah. Oh. He won the header, but he headed it straight to back to Milan. I was going to open, you know, header it to my own player. Ojo. Trying to switch on the Attacking power Moya. Penalty! Thank you! 
Zapata. That's a silly challenge and from him. Yellow card. No real surprise. It's really it was definitely a yellow card. Um she was she the best man for the job? Wow. He's the best man for the job. Oh, and he just gets it past Diego Lopez to make it 4-0. Oh. Well, somehow, Lopez goes the right way, but he doesn't stretch far enough to prevent the goal from Mshe Ojo. Three goals in the uh, Champions League for Shea Ojo. Oh, uh, not bad. Had a competition so far this year. That means he scored every single game. On average. Actually, he has scored in every single game because he didn't score twice against Celtic. I know that for a fact. But he did score against them. He did score against them once. Hmm. Interesting. So we're coming down now. Looks like a little, uh, freaking. Dang. It's like a. Did you know fact? Did you know. Well. But, uh, Che Ojo has scored three. He goes in three. He champions the game. Interesting. Oops. Freshening it up, Liverpool. The substitute now. It's a quick break. Well, we've got an angle on this. Oh, come on. Raise the flag earlier, you lazy piece of shit. Here comes a uh, former Liverpool player himself. It is Suso. Who, uh, is a Liverpool fan. I was really disappointed that he never really filled his potential, but, you know. Hopefully he has a good career at uh, Ace Milan and wherever else his career might take him. I don't harbor any bad feelings. I mean, it's not like... Good, strong tackle. I mean... <laughs> Yeah, we could say yeah, we made him, but, I mean, it's not like we made him in Mer. He was like a, a feature in our first team. If I remember correctly, he actually left on free. Is that right? Or am I thinking of somebody else? I might be thinking of somebody else. We've, we've had so many players in the past. He's got his tackle in, and the ball's gone out now. 4-0 here, and almost time up. What does this mean for their next game? Well, Liverpool go up against Everton after this. And, uh, and they have played well, they've struck the ball around, and uh, they'll be hoping to continue that. God damn it. Would have been a crunching tackle if he'd felt it, but he got out of the way. Ragnar Klavan will get there first. Yeah. Gerivet Diwara, yes. Ojo. More. Good progress with this attack. Muscled off the ball by Abate. Hey. But that's just to been a fair her challenge because it's a shoulder. Such crap. But uh, it doesn't really affect the uh, ending of the game in any way because it still ends 4 0. Got that's right. Beat Celtic, they actually got a second goal against Celtic to make it 2 0, which puts Celtic firmly bottom. Galatasaray are now in second place, like I said, with four points. I will actually now just quickly check. Oh wow, Galatasaray are my next game! What are the fucking chances of that? So.
after the next game I'll be on 12 points with if everything goes well. That's in the uh, Champions League now. I do have a cup, the cup game again, the last 16 against Stoke and the uh, home game against Crystal Palace. And of course, the game in against Everton left in this episode. So, uh, it's not going to be for a while, but... Hmm. It's uh, just gotten interesting, because that should... Yeah, that will mean I finish top of the group. Because even if Milan beats Celtic, that will only put them on five points, which will mean they're seven behind me. They can't catch me, even if even with a game against me. They can't overturn their seven-point difference with two games left. I will top the group if I beat... Beat... Beat, um... If I, uh, beat... That's us or in the next Champions League game. And that's an interesting side. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Crystal Palace are now in second place. I think that makes them the fourth different team to be second in this season so far. Following Manchester United, Arsenal, and... Wait, is it only three? Might be only three. But second place seems to be... The, uh... Flip-flopping, uh, position. When normally it's first place. At least, and sometimes it's... The bottom of the table. And while I'm not looking at the... Lower end of the Premier League table. Well, because, well, it doesn't really affect me. On the back of the 2015-2016... Although I don't see Everton. They're not in the top ten. As seen there. I wonder where, that, where they are then. Hmm. Maybe I should have looked at that. It'll probably... The commentators will probably mention it. And that was a uh, poor... Pass, maybe? Sadio Mane joins up front with Daniel Sturridge. A couple of changes for Everton today. Phil Jagielka replaces Matija Nastasic, who's been out of sorts lately. Kevin Brallas plays with Dale Lefeo as the wide options. Romelu Lukaku is the sole striker. Mane! Off the post! Wait. Was that Cortez? Really trying to use the full width of the pitch here. To make some progress. Comes out with a punch to clear the danger. It was nicely worked until that point, and it broke down. Now they've got to try and regain. Did I imagine that? No, I didn't. Sebastian Quartes, you trading son of a bitch. I don't care how long you played for us. Fuck you. Say, man, he makes it 1 0. What a fucking asshole is Sebastian Quartes. I don't care how, un how un unimportant you were at Liverpool. You still fucking play for us. I like the fact that it was actually his mistake that has led to the goal. Although 50% goes to uh, Powman, the goalkeeper, but. Uh, I'm giving 100% of the blame to Sparta in quarters, but he does. Fuck him! The Coates. De La Feu. Romelu Lukaku. <coughs> now this could be interesting. Pushing numbers forward in this counter-attack. The break is definitely on. Oh, penalty. Jagielka, what were you thinking, you dumbass? Yeah. Straight right card. Second Premier League game in a row. Oh, a uh, central defender has been sent off. As a miracle, Porte was sent off against Arsenal. 
Can Alba continue his good form from the spot? Yes, indeed he can. If I'm not mistaken, Alba has been perfect from the spot. He's taken on the responsibility and uh, a happy outcome for him. I think there's four successfully converted penalties from four this season. Yep, there's his number of goals, four, and since penalties seem to be the only way he can score, or that tells you he has four from four. It's a nice goal ratio Go for a left back. Suspension issue with the away team. Their first choice central midfielder is not available today because of that particular problem. Yeah, and he, he's a player that can, can sit in and uh, protect the two centre halves with his experience. So uh, it's it's a blow for the manager. Crisp defending there. Come on, yes, no. Continue. Chan. Manny. He. Sturridge. 3 0. Oh. Well, it is just too easy now that they are down to 10 men. Talents. Well, a little look of celebration, but inwardly, he must be buzzing. Brilliant. Oh, talk about luck. The keeper makes a good save, but straight into the path of the attacker. This may be a long day for the uh, blue side of, Man of uh, Merseyside. I'm going to sit in that just uh, for a second. They're Arabic. And it's William. I'm not playing Manchester City. I already played them this season. Surely, surely. Before the final whistle, we are going to see at least an effort on target. Or at least an effort. They've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Shots off! So close. Oh. The cherry on the icing on the cake. Oh, He's missed it. Missed the target. Missed a wonderful opportunity there. Daniel Sturridge. Good challenge. Promising build up until that challenge. Fermino. He's coming forward with some danger. Corner to come now. Williams. Tackled the ball behind, really. He's An attempt to make sure that uh, Sturridge didn't get show away a golf ball. Oh. He uh, gives away the corner. Which may end up in a show away a goal. Which it almost did. And it almost ended up in a Anyway, as Roberto Firmino, he makes it for an oh, oh, and actually can see in the co for for his make a little fucking consolation. I don't think so. There'd be questions asked if they are. To be honest with you, Martin, the opposition looks down and out. Who is Murray? The prick gets the some bit of karma uh, as he. He tries to clear it, he completely smashes it into Firmino. Oh, oh, who will happily take his second goal of the season, one of the easiest goals he'll ever score. The fact that he did absolutely nothing except stand in the right position. <laughs> ah. Is going to be a long, long second half for the for uh, Everton. Well, we wait to see what the second half brings. The first half 
It's conclusive, but you don't win the game at half time. Daniel Sturridge. Good challenge. It's looking good this move. It's nicely worked until that point when it broke down. Now they've got to try and regain possession. Yeah, I could freaking I could just pass it around if I wanted to for for the second half. Just to spare Everton your embarrassment. But this is Everton, so... No mercy. Nope. <laughs> this is a rivalry, after all. Well, this is something... Hmm. As Liverpool... Hmm. If this happened in real life... Well, this is actually almost similar to what did happen in real life in the... Uh, at the end of the note of the towards the back end of the last season. The EFL Cup fixture for Liverpool. They'll be hosting Stoke City. Yeah, a lot of Chan Oh fuck you. Alaba! Would you believe it? He's gone and scored for his first goal from open play. It's taken a massive deflection off of Williams. That might be an own goal, to be honest. But it's 5-0 uh, no regardless. Is that an own goal? Nope, they're giving it to Alaba. That's his second goal of the game. Imagine Dawa Alba getting a hat trick. Okay, again. Came in with a challenge. Easily taken by Joel Matty. Hip. Sturridge. It's Coutinho. Couldn't get my shot away, bro. Uh, as I would have wanted to. Alba! I'm not gonna lie there, I really did try to score that. That's purely for the um, unbelievable scenes that I would have caused this for uh, Alba. And sir, he didn't score his first Liverpool goal last season. So like the end of the season in the uh, semi-final against Spurs, because in the FA Cup. The fact that he has fought five. Ramiro for Already this season. Grand four have been from the penalty spot, but they all count. That's the Sadio Mane. Hey. He's sticking home goal number six of the game. It's just, like I said earlier, it's just too easy now that they have ten men. And, I mean, the gap that was left by the uh, departure of Jaggy Elka has just been horribly felt by the uh, Everton defense. Uh, definitely a uh, brilliant opportunity to bring on uh, my sub shoots. Sturgeon and Firmino can go off because they're not on hat tricks. Sayomani is. So it's uh, pretty much the same substitutions. Sturge, Firmino, and then it's uh, Sewell who's going off instead of Matty. Punis Mori. That's all we've got. A new man ready to come on. What oh, about Everton's next game? Oh, oh another mistake from Quarters. Go say oh man, a his hat trick. Pick. It's hilarious. It's brilliant. It's, and it's a big fuck you to Sebastian Quartes. This, this, what a lovely assist. What a lovely assist. He didn't make 
goals like that when he was at Liverpool. Well, he fucking joins Everton and he gets one of the best assists of his career. Sets up Sayamani for the hat trick. Beautiful. Only really one team it's 7-0. Uh, no. oh. oh, you'd be uh, forgiven for hoping in the uh, Everton part that this that the goals in them are ended. But they probably haven't. I mean, they are only going to end if Bauman starts saving all around him. Him suddenly, or, or if I he show mercy. Or I play as. Yes. Well, I guess that could be trade as me show mercy as if I start playing sloppily. For no reason. Oh, what? This misses the tackle, and Moya misses the shot. That they are still ahead. The quick turn and shot. I should have probably uh, worked my way into a better position before taking that shot. And he couldn't get away here. He might make up for it. Oh, Obama. And hmm. not sure why you're clapping, mate. It's still seven nothing. Oh, and the ball is cleared off the line to the night. I think it was actually Joel Matty. Okay, with the header. Reminded by Lopez. Well, let's have another glance at that save. He's made seven saves and it's seven nothing. What does that tell you? Mane! Ooh! <laughs> he wants more. But the fact that he has already got a hat trick and he is trying to bend one into the corner, which he is very well capable of doing, says a lot. And there's the full time whistle, which Everton fans will welcome with. It, well, not thunderous applause because they've really nothing to thunderously applause about. This was a horrific. Darby, one they will soon want to forget. And uh, this will teach them not to pick up Liverpool's shit and play it because, you know, it's, it's just not going to get any better, right? Eh? You know? Everton, nil. Newcastle United, nil. West Ham. I like the thing where Old Koeman is not stupid enough to, play, to go and get Sebastian Quartes in real life because he's terrible. I mean,. He was at fault for a good few of those goals. In second, Crystal Palace with 18 points. Oh, he set one up! Which tells you all you need to know. He is terrible. So, thanks for watching. I'm enjoying it. Smash the like button if you did subscribe if you're new. Until next time, I hope you all have a very nice day. Peace.